Last time on the USS New York. I was programmed to create an army of Superborg. To accomplish my task, I traveled to another dimension and assimilated the program design for a race of robotic people known as the Kalon. The result was a super duper army of Kalon Borg, the Balon. 13 years after my task was completed, I assimilated an android with an emotion chip. Oh, I'm feeling very depressed. As a result, I developed serious regrets about what I'd done. <gasps> I will now put Spock's brain in charge of the Balon army. His wisdom and logic will surely make the Balon a peaceful bunch. Captain de Houston, prepare to surgically alter me to look like one of those Gandaharians. I'm going down to fight a robo army of Balon super soldiers. And now for the epic conclusion. Hey, I'm Bullface Mauler Mort Moe's Maul. Hello, nice to meet you, Bullface Mauler Mort Moe's Maul. I'm Captain Tulliver. I'm trying to stop the Balon army. Can you take me to their time portal? Can you say my name again? One time? Bullface Mauler Mort Moe's Maul? See? You can say it. Why can't my friend say it, huh? It looks like the Balon are spreading all over the planet. Oh, but check this out. A bunch of them are getting struck by lightning. I'll put it on the view screen. I'm still picking up massive amounts of tachyon particles. They're still time traveling. This is awful. There's no telling what sort of changes to the timeline may occur thanks to Balon interference. Well, we should review this info from the USS New Jersey about the USS New York in that unexplored galaxy, but seeing as how the Starfleet is a military organization and not really concerned with exploration, I say we just listen to some tunes instead. There's a great light show on this disc too. Spock's brain is assimilating information from multiple time continuums at once, exponentially faster. In moments, his technological prowess will render him nearly omnipotent compared to us. Cool, cool. There's only one way to get to the controller. Come, we go. What makes you so sure we could stop Spock Prime? Spock Prime? Is that what he's calling himself now? I knew him back when he was just Spock's brain. I'll explain to him what he's doing is wrong. It worked for Picard with Soji. What if he won't talk to you? Then I'll do a Vulcan mind meld. I've studied a lot of Vulcan stuff. It worked for Soji. Reminds me of the colony. to create a gravitational disturbance and try to flood one of the marching armies. Thank <laughs> you.
rest of your journey you must make alone. Swim to those pipes and climb them to the top. Ooh, I just love those lights. I can't believe I'm doing this. How's this for upper body strength? Lieutenant Xantar's not the only one who can climb stuff in this crew. Once, Once you get, you over, get the over the edge, edge jump, jump into, into the water, the water inside. inside. Once, Once you are you there, are the, the red, red membrane, membrane will absorb, will absorb you. you. Rumor, Rumor has, has it you will, you will be pulled, pulled to Spock Prime, Prime for, him for him to decide, to decide what, what to do, do with you. With you. Cap Captain. Spock Prime, is that you? Our minds are moving closer, 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 closer. Our minds are one. Spock, you created the Borg to prevent the USS New York from having a show. But they failed, so you created Confucius of Borg. Yes, I can see it in your mind. Spock, what you're doing is wrong. You've strayed too far from your true self. It's like you have two selves. I'm aware of that fact. Never so much as now. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad we had this little talk. Now, where exactly is your brain? I'd like to put it back in your body. Spock, this is Confucius. I've hooked in to Captain Tulliver's radio. I found out about your secret mission to stop the USS New York from going through the vortex. That got them lost in space? I've been in Spock's mind. You weren't programmed to know that. You were just supposed to make the Balon army and hand them over like those aliens on Kamino. How do you know about Spock's secret mission? I watched episode four of your show. We beamed you through the Guardian of Forever. The Felusian told us you were using it for recreational purposes. So, Spock, have you ever seen the USS New York show? It's a nightmare. It's a horror. Yes! That's why your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to go through the time gate here and prevent the USS New York from ever getting lost in space in the first place! Just go back in time and prevent them from ever making the show! Oh, right. So, let me get this straight, Spock. You created the Borg, who I'd never heard of before all this, and their original purpose was to keep us from getting lost in space because some admirals at Starfleet didn't like our show. But the Borg were such a bunch of babies, they couldn't get the job done. So you created Confucius of Borg and put him in charge of making a bigger, better Borg army. He crossbred the Borg with the Kalon and created the Balon. But we're still lost in space. Now you've sent the Balon on a journey all through time and it didn't help. So what now? Their journey has created a rip in the continuum. If it is not healed, it will widen disastrously. It will destroy the universe. Can't you just hit undo? Yes. As it was in the beginning, so shall it always be. Now. Wait! Spock! I know you're now trying to undo the damage you and the Balon have done, but doesn't this feel like deja vu? I believe you're creating a time loop! Or maybe you're just thinking of yesterday's enterprise or cause and effect. Wait, what's going on? Time travel. He's attempting to restore the timeline! But wait! Spark! Don't you see? This is how the vortex that got the USS New York lost in space was created in the first place. Spock, you, you created the Guardian of Forever. You're doing it right now. 
But what about the entropy effect? The entropy effect is a direct consequence of temporal displacement. I must go back to the very beginning of these changes. The version of me that existed in the alternate continuum reappeared in my observatory. The stability of space-time pushed me back to the place I belonged. Simultaneously, my miscalculation of my stamina caught up with me. I lost consciousness. Did my two selves merge, or did one self vanish into dust, leaving only a single individual to survive? Wait, how'd you get inside the green guy? I will never know. I expected to forget the events in the time loop I turned back on itself and wiped out of existence. But I remember. Well, Captain Tulliver's body is all messed up from the deep sea pressure and stuff. I should have given him one of the good diving suits. Anyway, we never got Spock's brain back, so I just put Captain Tulliver's brain in Spock's body there. Halston, you mad genius you. Hey, he's waking up. Mmm, mmm. Tell me about this body. I made some augmentations. Gave you superpowers. Superpowers. Am I real? Am I a real boy? Of course not. You're a cartoon character. Whoa, look at that. Some sort of weird space vortex is opening up. Better not go in it. What's that? Go in it? Okay! I said, don't go in it. You idiot! Too late! I have learned how fragile the continuum is. I have not, after all, restored it to its original form. I have only managed to stitch it where it tore. Perhaps I should not be surprised that the seams are not quite straight and the grain not quite smooth. If the inconsistencies are no worse, than an inexplicable astronomical phenomenon and conflicting sets of memories in my own mind, then perhaps I should accept them gracefully and gratefully. Tell us another story, Mr. Mustache. And I have to tell you about this. I was at a par this is true. I was at a Paramount um, party, a, a, a promotion function. There were a lot of Paramount That's people. A Paramount party were, promotion? Yes, there were, there were actors and actresses, and I felt a pair of hands. Somebody came up from behind and put, the, put their hands on my shoulder and said in my ear, I don't recognize you. Yeah, I had your ears fixed. And it was John Wayne. <laughs> really? True story. Oh, my God. John Wayne. The Duke. Yeah, himself. Hey, John. Johnny. <laughs> Fuck!